Okay, we're going to use a 10 by 10 tarp, but rather than fight with this and try to show you how to do it, first I'm going to give you a primer using something smaller. It's going to fold out, cut exactly the same as the big tarp. But you may want to take this paper and do it yourself. That way you'll have a better concept of exactly how this goes together. Uh, this is a piece of 8.5 by 8.5 paper, just a sheet of regular paper squared. So it's 8.5 by 8.5. Now I'm going to fold it in half. Then I'm going to, let me flop it over the other way. There we go. Then I'm going to find the halfway point right here and mark it. Then I'm going to come down from the end 40% of the length of the paper. So if this is an 8.5 sheet of paper, I'm going to come down 40% of that and mark it right there. Then I'm going to cut that right off. It's the same thing you're going to do with your top. If you're using a 10 by 10 tarp, you're going to fold it in a triangle, find the halfway point, and on a 10 by 10 you're going to come down 4 feet and cut it off. Open it up, it's going to look like that right there. You just ruined a 10 by 10 tarp, but it's only $6, so don't sweat it. Okay, once you've got that, and this is the piece that you cut off, you're going to take this piece, and you're going to cut it again to kind of slim it down. Because this is way more material than you need. Okay, so these are the two pieces that you're going to use. And with this piece, you're going to lay the pie plate on it from the tarp. It's obviously not going to work here. Cut out two circles. Now these two circles, you're going to glue right in here one on top of the other. So you'll have two circles, the original layer of the tarp, and this piece that's going over the top of it. So you'll actually have four layers right there, and that's where your center post is going to go. Okay, now once you put these in there, this that designates the inside of the tent, whichever side you put the circles on. So if you have a side that you want to be the outside, put the circles on the other side. Okay, once you have that, you're going to take this piece, and you're going to glue it and you're going to glue this surface right here that you've cut off right here you're going to take this halfway point, the seam, right there where you folded it you're going to line it right up with that edge and you're going to glue it right on there. Then you're going to take the whole thing, flip it over, and glue this on the other side. Just like that. When you get all done, you're going to have a little piece sticking out here. You're just going to snip that right off. Now the grommet on the top will, will automatically come right at the tip. And that will be your hitch point for your rope. So when you open this up, like this, you'll have a tent like this. You'll go inside, put your pole right up in here to hold it up. You're going to put another pole right out here on the tip. Then you're going to take a rope and run it from the grommet to the ground. And that's what your tent will look like. Now, you can pitch this with about seven feet from this edge to this edge and it'll look like this. You can see about what I've got for a peak here. Or if you're going to sleep at night, you can pitch it nine or ten feet. And what that'll do is, that'll make it much wider and lower and this tip will actually get down fairly low to the ground and keep the wind out. You'll have a lot of space inside, but you won't have much headroom. You'll have about maybe three and a half feet of headroom, maybe four feet right at the center. When you get all done, you just fold it up, put it in your pack. Okay, now we can get to the full-size top.